Hey guys, it's me, Miss Lauren Lee 11. If you want to see how I got this hairstyle, tune in this Friday at 12 p.m. Greenwich Mean Time. If the video has passed that time, then please watch to the end of this video and then you can click the link to watch the video of how I got this hairstyle. Anyway, back to this video. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Miss Lauren Lee 11 and today I'm going to be experimenting a little with the old school products. It only has to be the old school products because that's what I'm dealing with right now. So I was told in one of my comments and thank you for telling me this. I'm, well, I'm going to try it out and see, see if it is a thank you or if it's a fail. <laughs> but I was told you are meant to put the S curl gel underneath the pink oil moisturizer and that would make sense because this i use as a leave-in and this is very moisturizing a little goes a long way and then i use this as my store stoiler i use this as my styler i'm really excited to try this i wasn't gonna do it off camera but then i tried a little piece of my hair and they mixed lovely no balling no no nothing so yes i've washed my hair after doing my blowout my curls came back my curls always come back to this day <laughs> my hair looks curlier than it usually does i don't know what that's about i do i do know what's going on since using these new products these new products my hair has been acting how it should my hair's dry right now but but the curls are there the thickness is there the shrinkage is there that's what we're talking about you need a bit of shrinkage to show the health of your hair so what i am going to do though guys because i blow dried my hair out my scalp got very dry last time so before i start i'm going to just go ahead and grease my scalp before i do anything because once i've got the product in my hair i don't really want to be touching it too much and the reason why i got itching is because as i said i usually wash my hair every four days but as my hair was blown out and it took such a long time well it didn't take a lot of long time it just hurt my arms <laughs> but i left it in for i believe it was what six maybe seven days you may think this is a lot of grease guys but i'm just putting this in for the duration of my uh style i'm not going to put, be putting any more on my scalp and it does say you can put it in daily but to me that's too much that's overkill and then what i'm going to do now i'm going to take it on my fingertips like so and then I'm just going to go in and massage that in. Oh, that's lovely. And also, guys, I'm massaging the scalp. So as I've mentioned many times, massaging your scalp increases blood flow to your hair follicles, which then promotes hair growth. Oh, thank goodness for hair tools and products. I'm a bit nervous. I'm not even going to lie. <sighs> okay. My hair, as you can see, guys, it's dried. Only parts that's slightly damp are the roots, but this is dried. So although the definition looks lovely, it's not good for my hair because that's when my hair is prone to breakage. I'm always looking for a hairband. Is it only me that only looks for a hairband? It's like I take them out of the packet and then I have one left. What is that about? I'm going to section the back and I can feel that hair grease on my scalp. So that's a good sign. So I'm just going to quickly pull my hair so it's kind of going in the same direction. I'm going to take the S curl and I don't need to give you an introduction introduction <laughs> I don't need to give you an introduction to this because I've used it many a times and this guys if you're wondering it is the same one that you get in the tube but I just got it in a jar because you know why not get those ends and I don't want my hair to be flat and limp guys I want my hair to be bouncy so I'm trying to watch how much products, i.e. the pink and the S curl, that I apply to my hair. See, this is where I usually get to, right? Applying the S curl. And I'm like, no, I could do a bit more. I think that's perfect. Okay, let me just do the ends. <laughs> could do a bit more. So that's the type of bounciness I want. So that means I'm gonna to have to not be very liberal with the pink lotion as I usually am. I'm gonna do one pump. There you go. Okay, let's go. Right, so I started on the ends and just worked my way up. 
no balling but just shine I like to do this method the twisting method just to make sure that the whole of my hair is saturated then I'm just gonna already I'm liking the results if it dries like this I mean with shine and definition I'd be quite happy I'm not gonna apply it anymore okay cool cool this part is dry and then this part moisturized Hmm, I'm stretching it out guys, I'm not finger raking it. This part of my hair is always the most stubborn. The crown is literally just... <sighs> this is actually starting to dry already and it's drying quite nicely. It's drying fluffy. Is that too much? I don't know. I've saturated this tiny, well, tiny, this section more with the S curl. Um, yeah, there you go. There you go. That's it. I think that's the trick, guys. Maybe it needs more S curl. I'm gonna apply the pink at the front. I like. I like it so far. Hmm. Guys, actually, I like it, I think. Do I? <laughs> I like it. Let's see if I like it whilst my hair's dry now. Am I overdoing it? Okay, I'm leaving this side now. I don't wanna, I don't wanna. I don't wanna put any more in there. So let me go do the other side of camera and you've seen what this looks like now. So you can imagine how my whole head will look. And then I think I'll come back to you once my hair is diffused. Hello guys, so I'm back and I just have to give a big thank you to my subscriber Kerry. I literally just diffuse my hair. I try to budget up as much as possible to give it the stronger look, but because obviously the S curl weighs it down, and yes, I am looking shiny, guys, it's hot. Does my hair feel greasy? No. That part of my hair, this part right here where I just touched, is still wet. Oh, and by the way, I laid down, I tried to lay on my edges, but I swayed it out. I was laying down my edges with the S Curl Texturizer Gel, so I'm gonna go ahead and do that properly now whilst you're here. So as you can see, guys, I've got a bit of frizz, and I am loving it because it adds to the volume. And somebody asked me what's wrong with frizz. Nothing is wrong with frizz. I get that it makes your hair look natural, but sometimes when you want your hair to look a certain way, if you don't want to have volume you just want to have definition then that's fine okay let me show you the back i don't think i'm going to be pineapple in it though because i don't want it stretched anymore i don't want it to look any longer i like this length so what i'm going to do is sleep with my hair bonnet but let me show you the back so yes guys i do recommend this don't be as heavy-handed as i was but uh what do you think this may be my wash and go. I don't have to crunch at any cost. I've got curl definition. Anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and I will see you in the next one, guys. I have so much more coming up for you. All right, guys, so I will see you later. Bye.